everyone. My name is Miss Jen from Code Speak Labs. And today we're going to code a project about worm composting. Now, I think food composting is one of the great things we can do every single day to help protect the earth. We take our food scraps and we compost it so it goes back into the earth, back into the soil, instead of going into a landfill. I linked to a couple of videos if you wanna go deeper into how worm composting works. But in this video, we're gonna start to show you how to set up your own video game about worm composting. Let's check out what your final project could look like. So as you can see here, we have our protagonist, the mighty worm. So when you press the green flag, you will be able to use the arrow keys to move your worm around. And it is hanging out and chasing the food scraps. And you'll notice every time the worm gets to an apple core, the score actually goes up. And when I've persisted and I get 10 uh, points, I will see this amazing universal sign for composting. And it'll say, you want. Great job composting. And now this is just the example project. Um, so your project can actually look different. And what's fun about this is we're gonna design all of our sprites from scratch. So that's what this part one of the video will focus on. I'm gonna go ahead and start the way that I always do by titling my new project. Oh, also note, you don't have to log in to code this project. All you have to do is create a new project in Scratch at scratch.mit.edu, then click Create. So once you're here, um, you can name your project Worm Composting Game. Or if you can think of something more creative, go right ahead. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a sprite that will be our main character, the worm. So unfortunately, there's not a worm in the sprite library. So what I'm gonna do is actually draw one. So I actually have to click over here and I'm gonna hover and over choose a sprite, but then go up to where it says paint, paint. So this will automatically open up this area for me to create my worm. So the worms we use for worm composting are kind of a reddish pink. So I'm just gonna play around with the color tools here until I get a reddish pink color that I like. Doesn't have to be exact. By default, it starts you on this pointer but I actually want to use the brush tool. And I'm gonna make my worm pretty fat. Cause you right now look, there's just a little tiny dot when the brush size is 10. So I'm gonna change this to actually 300. You can experiment with different numbers. Whoa, so you'll notice now my brush tip is very thick. So I'm gonna make a wiggly worm. Yeah, and if you have time later, you can actually make different versions of your worm and animate it. So when it moves, it can move around. So there's my worm. Um, I'm gonna make my worm a happy worm. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue using the brush tool, but I'm gonna add black eyes and a black smiley face. So it's gonna be a little bit cartoonish. So you can tell the color next to the fill here says black, so that means it's good to go with black. Okay, now I wanna make the brush tool much smaller. So I'm gonna put 25, and you can see this is about the approximate size that I'm looking for, so it's all good. But again, you can make different designs on your worm, you can give it different facial expressions. I'm just gonna go with the classic eyes and smile, okay? You'll notice, boom, now my new sprite is appearing here. 
So I need something organic that the worm can eat. I'm gonna choose an apple. So what's cool about the apple is if you go to, again, choose a Sprite, but this time actually click the cat face. So you look at the Sprite library, there already is an apple. But there's something that's not quite right about this apple for my game. And that is that it's a whole apple. You wouldn't wanna put a whole apple in your food composting scraps because you should eat the apple first. It's really just the core. It's the parts that you can't eat, but the worms can. So I'm gonna actually um, go to costumes for the apple. So if you notice here on the top left, it says code and then it says costumes. When I open up the costumes tab, this is where I can edit my apple. So this is gonna be a fun trick. I'm actually gonna use the eraser tool to design my apple to look like it's eaten. Because the cool thing about the eraser tool, if you look right here, and the eraser tool is shaped as sort of like a rectangle that's slanted with a little um, piece missing in the corner. The rectangle tool, um, sorry, the, the eraser tool can actually take oop, a bite out of the apple. And the fun thing is because it's already naturally shaped like a circle, it kind of creates this beautiful bumpy edge that imitates what it looks like when you are biting into an apple. You can kind of play around with how you want it to look. I like to really eat my apples as close to the core as possible. So I'm gonna erase a lot. Let's say you do have an apple that's rotten, then the whole apple might go in. So you're gonna put this beautiful um, apple core now whoop, in your project. So you'll notice I now have three sprites. I designed two just right now. And I also have this third sprite. So this is an optional sprite. If you do wanna use it, I actually put a link to it in the blog post. Um, this is the universal composting symbol. And actually one of our partner organizations, We Compost To, actually made this symbol in order to demonstrate all the important elements of what goes into composting. Um, this is gonna be what comes up when you win the game. If you wanna design something else, or if you actually just wanna draw what this universal composting symbol looks like, you can go ahead and do that. We'll just use the same paint tools um, that we just showed you, except you can use blue, brown, and green to represent all the elements that go into composting. Okay, so now this is, these are our sprites. We have three sprites. The last thing we're gonna do for this video is create a backdrop. So if you go to the bottom right, right next to where you added sprites, it says choose a backdrop. And this time I'm gonna go paint. So um, I need a nice, beautiful brown background. to show what's inside the worm bin with our worm. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose, that looks brown. But yeah, you can just go ahead and kind of play with um, color, with brightness um, to see what color you want best. You could color, the, color it all the way if you want, or you could create a square and do it that way. You could do multiple colors. Um, you could use different brush strokes. I'm just going to take the rectangle tool and just say, you know what? I'm going to make this whole thing a big brown rectangle. You'll notice it all turns brown. So I controlled Z that to sort of do it one more time. I just clicked in a corner here above the canvas. I dragged it all the way down. And I let go. And now we have our worm and our apple. Okay, I wanna do one more thing. So right now the game would be pretty easy because the worm is so big. So it's quite easy to touch um, the apple cord on the screen. So I'm gonna make it a little bit harder by changing the size. So if you notice here, right below where you see the game being played, there is the name of the sprite and its size. So size, I'm actually gonna change to 20. 
see what that looks like. Hmm. I think the worm is actually a little bit too small. Let's see if we try 50. So I like 50. You can decide what works best for your game. You're the game designer. And I'm just gonna change the name of my sprite. So instead of sprite one, I'm gonna call this worm. And then next to the worm, you can see, oh, this one is already labeled apple because it was from the apple sprite. Okay, now that we're all set up with our game, you can pause the video or end this video and continue to do any additional designing. And then when you're ready, go on to the next video where we're going to add the code.